Good evening, Michigan. Back at you with another G Brothers review, a work time review. So it's late at night. <clears throat> I'm at work. I was like, hey, I haven't done a video in a long time. Sorry about that. I got really busy. I'll post some pictures. We we're doing renovations of the church's kitchen and a bunch of stuff like that. Anyways, so I was like, let me find a place that's still open this late at night. Eagles in Chesterfield, Michigan. So Eagles Bar and Grill in Chesterfield, Michigan, right there. Um, they were open. So I called them up. Crazy thing about that. I called them up. Somebody from work's like, get the pizza. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, let me get the flatbread pizza. They're like, we don't sell that. I'm like, all right. So I'm looking at the menu on my phone. I'm like, let me get the Opa Burger. Like, well, we don't sell that either. So a bunch of stuff they don't sell, but they have on the menu. <sighs> Walked in there, a nice clean spot. Everybody tells me it's a perfect place to go get drunk. $2 beers. And that was kind of the atmosphere. I'm not expecting a lot from the food, right? Because I kind of, when I got in there, I kind of noticed what it was. So it is what it is. Anyways, I got their old fashioned, but the young lady got some good looking girls that work up there. Number one. Number two, $2 beers. I got to hit that spot up. But um, the young lady was like, well, the Opa Burger comes with cassetti cheese. So she's like, I'll just substitute it on an old fashioned. Anyways, all right. It was 13 bucks for the old fashioned and um, $3.95 for the onion rings. Cool? So Eagles. Eagles in Chesterfield. So, and she wrote really good on here. Thank you. The box. That's so polite. That's so nice. Also, I've been watching a lot of TV series. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, guys. We've had smoke here in Michigan. My throat, no homo, has been uh, very, like, parched and, like, dry all the time for some odd reason. Anyway, so here's their burger and onion rings. That's a cassetti cheese. Okay. That's a cassetti cheese. You got to put the burger kind of together yourself. Anyways, so I've been watching two series. I'm going to rate the series that I watched. Bonus review. Let's see. Here's the onion rings. They're good. Not bad. They're good onion rings. Anyway. No napkins. Oh, and uh, the Pistons might get um, Tyler Hero from Miami. That's going to be a good bet. So, <clears throat> I rewatched The Sopranos. And I'm rewatched. Uh, um, what's the show? Um, the Wire. So I rewatched those two shows. I'm gonna start grading these shows. As for The Sopranos goes, right? Great show, awesome show. The way they got the pickles, lettuce, and tomatoes, and everything is kind of all spread out. Like, <clears throat> let's see how this. I gotta put this together. Give me a second here. So. Sopranos. Awesome. Very, very awesome. Rewatched it, watching about a week. Really, really good. Character development, Tony, all the even the characters. I found so much comedy in that show. Like now that I rewatch it, it's even funnier than what it was in the first uh the first time. And I know it's not supposed to be a funny show, but like it's ironically funny. Okay, this is a big burger. This is a lot of heavy, like heavy stuff. It's a big burger. Tomatoes, pickles, lettuce, the cassetti cheese. I can't really show it to you. Let me see if I can show you the cassetti cheese. There's a cassetti cheese, which is the Opa cheese. Anyway, let's try this out real quick. A little dry. <clears throat> it's probably on me. I said, I meant to tell the medium, but I told him medium well for the burger. Which, you still can get a burger medium well and it can be good. But the cassetti gives a little funkiness to it, which is good. A little tzatziki on here. Probably make it better. Anyways, for the Sopranos. Love the show. Still was amazing. High score here. I'm going to go 9.7 for the whole series of Sopranos. It was an amazing series. Every season was Pan uh, uh, packed and jammed with amazing things. Now, I know the ending and everybody's all about the ending sucked, the ending this, the ending that. I kind of get why David Chase made the ending the way he made it. Uh, the way he made it. 
kind of keep the lure open. Uh, so everybody knows what, like, not everybody knows what's going on, but more of like a, like everybody's guessing. So it keeps the uh, series talking for a long time. Sorry guys, I'm tired from talking real fast. They got a good char to it. Again, the cassetti cheese, opa cheese. It adds a nice funkiness. In my opinion. If you don't like that kind of cheese, you're not going to like it. I do. So it adds a really, really nice funkiness to it. Anyways. So Sopranos 9.7. I like the ending. Fuck what you guys thought. Um... For the wire, perfect. Every season kept me hooked. I loved it. I love the character develops. I love the way they uh, remove characters, all that kind of stuff. It was amazing. Again, wire every season kept me in tune. Kept me there. They didn't have a down season, just like the Sopranos didn't have a down season. I'm giving the wire a nine point seven two. I'm going to tie those two series. I think they're really good. They're both really good. I'm going to leave it as a tie. Um, so that's it for those series. Now, as far as this burger goes, tomatoes kind of faking, but it's a little good. Pickles are just normal out of a jar. Nice buns. I like the buns. Again, <clears throat> the cassetti is just a nice, like, uh, I wish I had like tzatziki sauce. Which I think is supposed to come in the original one they had. It'd go a lot better. For their burger though, it's a good burger. If you're drunk, this thing is going to be amazing. Like really, really amazing. So I can see why people might like this place. Again, $2 beers. $2 beers. And you know who you are out there. I know you go there. You know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to. Uh, I'm going to give their burger a solid. Very, very solid Tomatoes really bad. I'm trying to figure out where to put this. All right. <clears throat> Eagles in Chesterfield. You guys old fashioned burger with cassetti cheese, which should be the Opa burger, but it's not. Because you guys have stuff on the menu that's not there anymore. Which is weird. Uh, but anyways. <clears throat> I'm going to give their burger, their fake Opa burger, I'm going to give it a solid, solid, good lunchtime. A little better than a lunchtime, but it's a drunken spot. I'm going to give it a 6.9 sex. A lot of people, after they leave that place, I'm pretty sure they're having sex. So 6.9 is a fair score. $2 beer is getting fucked up. That's awesome. Onion rings are really, really cool. A little softer, not as crunchy as I thought they would be. But the flavors here, the batter is really good, actually. Whoever they buy these, they buy these from does a good job. They're better than your normal onion rings. They're kind of almost like big boys onion rings. Yeah, good onion rings. I'm gonna give it a solid, really solid. I like the onion rings better. A seven point two, really good onion rings. Anyways, guys, be some more videos. <clears throat> Sorry. I had some renovations to do, so I couldn't do any videos. Again, remember, send me any suggestions. I write them down to do them. We'll be doing them. And also, if you have any products you want me to check out, let me know and I'll review it. Till next time, stay fucking safe. Remember the three most important things in life. That's your faith, your family, and food.